Hi, fellow foodies. My name is Barbara, and I am the host of Barbara's Bites. Thank you for joining my channel. Today, we are going to be cooking a whole chicken along with potatoes, carrots, and celery. And we're going to be roasting all of this in the oven. So join me in my kitchen as we make memories one bite at a time. Look at that beautiful bird. Stay with me and I'll show you how it's done. Here we have baby carrots, honey gold, potatoes, celery, lemon, sage, thyme, rosemary, garlic and herb spread, and chicken broth. I have all my ingredients chopped up, our potatoes, our celery, our lemon, and our herbs. I've got our garlic peeled and I've got our onion chopped up. So we can now begin with preparing our meal. All right, so I have my oven preheating and I have my roasting pan out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put my carrots and my celery and my potatoes in there. Okay, I now have my vegetables all in the roasting pan. I added a couple cloves of garlic and a couple wedges of lemon. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour in a cup of chicken broth. And then I'm going to season with my bay leaf, my leaf of sage. I've got some, some thyme. I've got some rosemary. This is all fresh that I chopped up earlier. And then we're going to put some adobo. This, I, this is what I seasoned my chicken in. We're going to do the roasted garlic and herb seasoning, which is also what I seasoned my chicken in. And then we're going to do a little smoked paprika. Once again, that's what my chicken was seasoned in. So we've got all of that and we're ready to start on the chicken and get all of it in the oven. All right, so we've already prepared the vegetables, got them waiting on us in the roasting pan. So we're gonna start on the chicken right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I've already gotten a head start on the chicken. Um, I marinated it last night. So what I did is I rinsed it, dried it off with paper towels and included in the cavity. And then I took some adobo seasoning and some roasted garlic and herb seasoning and some smoked paprika and some salt and sprinkled it all over the chicken, patted it in, stuck it in the fridge and let it marinate overnight. So basically the same seasonings that was in the potatoes and the other vegetables is on the chicken. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stuff the cavity. All right, y'all ready for this? Y'all see the cavity? All right, so I'm gonna start by putting my herbs in there, which would be a bay leaf, not a bay leaf, a sage leaf. This is a bay leaf. And then I have rosemary, and then I have thyme. All right, then I'm gonna put garlic in there. And then I'm gonna put a lemon wedge in there and then I'm gonna close it up. And I'm gonna show you a little trick because I don't have any butcher's twine, so I'm gonna use aluminum foil. As y'all can see, I tied my chicken up with aluminum foil because I don't have any um, butcher's twine. So I just took a little piece of um, aluminum foil and I twisted it around the legs. All right, so 
I've got a syringe with a little bit of garlic and herb butter, and I'm gonna take it in the fattiest part of the chicken, and I'm gonna barely stick it in there, and then I'm going to inject the chicken with the garlic and herb butter slowly. So that'll make it really juicy and flavorful. And now I'm gonna take the rest of the garlic and herb butter. It's not melted, it's just a little softened. And I'm gonna rub the skin down with this butter. And I know it looks like a lot of butter, but that butter is gonna melt into the skin and it's gonna give it a nice rich flavor. Get in the cavity there. I'm going to do the belly the same way I did the skin side, the breast side. I'm going to rub it down with garlic and herb butter, making sure I get everything up under that wing there on the drums. And I'm even, even going to put a little bit on the cavity. I've already got the cavity stuffed, but I wanna put a little bit of that garlic and herb butter in there too. And by the way, when I seasoned the chicken last night, I also seasoned the, the cavity. So this chicken's gonna be juicy and flavorful. So we are gonna stick this beautiful bird in the oven. It has to cook on 375, 20 minutes per pound, and this is a six pound. So it's going to cook for 120 minutes, which is two hours. And as you can see, I've got the pop-up, the, the meat thermometer that goes in the oven. Um, chicken is well cooked when it is 165 degrees. So we're going to put this chicken in the oven with the thermometer facing outward so that I can see the temperature. And it is going to come out in two hours or when the temperature is 165. So we'll see you then. So I wanna take a minute to correct myself. Earlier in the video, I kept saying that your chicken had to be cooked at 165 degrees. That's only if you're cooking like chicken legs, chicken breasts, chicken thighs. Those can be cooked at 165 degrees, but a whole chicken has to be cooked to 180. So I just wanted to go back and correct myself because when I was talking in the video earlier, I guess I was thinking about fried chicken or whatever, and I kept saying 165 degrees, but it's actually 180. So please remember, 165 for fried chicken, like chicken legs, um, chicken breast, chicken wings, whatever, but for a whole chicken, it has to be at least 180. All right, so the bird has been taken out of the oven, and it is 180 degrees, so it is fully cooked and ready to go. And we're gonna let it rest for a few minutes before we cut into it. Now, while we're letting the chicken rest, I am going to take lemon and squeeze it over top of the chicken. Give it a little extra flavor. I'm going to continue to let it rest. All right, folks. Are you ready to join me as we cut into this flavorful, juicy bird? Did you hear that? That's me pulling off the wing. So let's cut a piece off. You hear that crispy skin? Still a little hot. That's all right. We got this. Look at this, fully cooked, it's hot. Fully cooked, juicy and tender. Skin is nice and crisp. We're gonna take a bite. You wanna join me in taking a bite? All right, folks, we have our oven roasted chicken with our oven roasted vegetables. And we're going to take a bite and see how that turned out. All right, I'm going to take a bite of our chicken breast.
nice and tender, juicy, crisp skin, very flavorful. The potatoes, nice and soft and roasted and well done. Again, full of flavor. And there you have it, folks. Thank you for joining my channel. I hope you'll join me next week as I will be cooking lentil soup with curry and coconut milk. Everything that we did today will be in the description below. And if you're not already subscribed, please ring that notification bell and stay tuned each week for flavorful, easy recipes. Thank you for joining me. Good night.